Welcome to another version of Fun with Phones, and in this episode we're going to be talking about the German Democratic Republic, East Germany's FF63M. These phones were made in the 60s, 70s. Um, they were basically a copy, somewhat, of the West German FFOBZB. Bakelite case. Um, one of the things they did is they moved the hand crank, the generator, magneto to the front. It folds out. Uh, we'll go ahead and open it up. These two lugs right here is this phone will operate in both common battery and local battery mode. This is actually where a dial unit would slide onto and lock into place. You would plug it in and you could make dial phone calls. Um, it's got uh, the phonetic alphabet art. We'll go ahead and open it. It's got this interesting latch. Open it like that. Um, as you can see, like the other German phone, it's got a set of patch cords in it. So you can actually plug the patch cords in and do testing between the phones. Standardized Bakelite case. Uh, this one is interesting because in order to pack it up, you have to unplug the handset connector. So you can plug the handset into any one of these. I'm not quite sure what the difference is. I'm trying to find a manual on it. It seems the handset works on all of them. So I'm not sure if one of them perhaps is uh, for common battery, one of them is for local battery, whatever. Um, binding poster right here to connect your field wire. This is an actual ring test. And what's interesting about this one is when you push it down, you don't have to have wire sorted. It will test to make sure the phone rings. This is another interesting phone. Basically, uh, they use the, uh, the theory of the Soviets, and it's actually got transistors in it. So it's got a 9-volt battery pack in it, which is under this cover right here. I'm not going to open it. But it's an interesting battery because it's, a, it's flat, maybe a half, three-quarters of an inch thick. Pretty much fills this whole thing up. And it's got two snaps on it like you have on clothing. So one snap, I guess sort of like our 9-volt, one snap snaps on the one side, and, one, and it snaps in place, and this goes inside there. Of course, I couldn't find that, so I had to put in one of our 9-volt batteries. Uh, but this is it right here. It's it's pretty rugged Bakelite case. We'll go ahead and uh, I'll shut down. We'll hook it up to another phone and we'll make some calls. Okay, I have it hooked up to a T57 to make some phone calls. Just like the other phones, if you wanted to, you could uh, run the handset and field wire through this this, this rough, soft rubber piece right here, close the cover, and operate the handset on the outside of the phone if you wanted to do so. Okay, we'll go ahead and make some phones. First thing I'll do is I'll call this phone from the TA57. Not a really loud ring in here. Um, I don't know if it's adjustable. I've been doing look, some looking. I need to find a manual. I don't really want to take it apart. I'm afraid I'll damage it, so I just might live with how loud that ring is. Now I'll go ahead and we'll call back the other way. Fairly a uh, good powered ring signal. Um, it's got a little sticker right here that basically says, be careful, somebody might be listening on the line, which is interesting. Uh, this phone will work with all the Warsaw Pact and Soviet field phones I have and all the NATO phones, so it's, it's definitely interoperable. And this is the German Democratic Republic, East Germany's FF63M field phone. Thanks for watching.